So, magandang araw guys. Welcome to R3C22, Architectural Visual Communication Subject. Uh, let's discuss in this video, ano ba ang visual techniques? What is the importance of having a good architectural visualization? At having a good skill for freehand drawing and sketching? And at bilang estudyante, how it can help to practice and deliver mesmerizing graphic presentation? Uh, na magamit natin in line to other architectural subjects like history, building tech, I think, uh, theory, planning, and especially sa ating design project present subject presentation, and how useful visual techniques course kapag tayo ay nagtatrabaho na bilang arkitekto. Okay, so let's watch the slide and uh, my tutorial video for our first plate, uh, line, e line drawing exercise. Okay, so let's watch. Okay guys, so before we start, let, uh, let me introduce first kung ano yung mga ins drawing instrument na kailangan natin sa exercise na to. Uh, so first, uh, sketch pad, 12 by 18 uh, and uh, cutter, erasing shield, uh, sharpening pad, triangle or any ruler, uh, either 45 or 30, 60, 30 by 60. And lastly, the important thing, graphite pencil, use HB, okay? So let's start.
Uh, okay, guys. So first exercise: uh, vertical lines using freehand drawing. Basically, in creating straight vertical lines in freehand, we need to practice three things. Uh, first, writing grip control. Okay. So second, uh, arm muscle teamwork. Then third, uh, point to point line boundary. Okay. So we can start with writing grip. Uh, writing grip control in process, kailangan natin i-consider yung cons consistency ng grip o yung diin na pag natin from start to end ng linya. Okay? So, second, yung arm muscle teamwork, kung saan ang ating arm o writing grip, uh, writing grip, elbow at shoulder, uh, kailangan natin gamitin, uh, falling down sa pag At hindi lang nakapix yung ating right part ng palm o yung right part, part ng ating palad na nakapix dun sa ating uh, paper or sa ating desk uh, to avoid inconsistency of line para hindi mag-create ng curvature. Okay? So, yung third, uh, yung line boundary. Important to guys, mind setting to. Uh, na kailangan natin ma-establish yung boundary ng linya especially for long straight line. So, from starting point to end point uh, para makapag-create tayo ng straight lines uh, using prehand. Okay, so guys, those are the important things to consider for creating a straight uh, vertical lines. Okay? So, uh, next exercise, horizontal lines. Uh, sa pagdura naman ng horizontal lines, guys, in freehand, uh, again, i-maintain natin yung consistency ng grip natin. Uh, then, by that, makapag-create tayo ng muscle memory. Uh, and I do advise uh, that by using graphite pencil, mas applicable na yung fingers natin in writing grip position uh, at least 1 inches away dun sa dulo ng pencil or sa tip ng pencil, okay? Uh, para mas visible or a bit thicker ang may create nating linya. Because unlike kapag pen yung ginamit natin, kahit medyo malayo ang hand grip sa tip or sa dulo ng pen, is uh, madaling i-maintain kung ano ang thick ng pen, okay? Kasi sa graphite pencil, as long na malayo ang uh, finger grip sa tip ng pencil is kailangan mo ng more pressure. Okay? So, kapag napagod at hindi relax ang kamay natin guys sa pag-create ng lines, uh, magkikreate din yan ng inconsistency ng linya. Uh, also, dyan sa horizontal lines, kailangan pa din i-maintain yung arm, arm muscle teamwork. But this time, ang direction ng arm is outward or inward. Uh, your arm feet or sa kilikili nyo. So, again, from left to right yun or uh, right to left ang uh, pagguhit natin. Okay? So, we'll go to our next exercise. So, for third exercise, uh, diagonal lines. Uh, point start left to right and line right to left. So, both exercise guys, basically, it has same consideration na kailangan natin practice. Uh, first, I, uh, by the way, I do advise while drawing the short lines, uh, at this time, we don't need to uh, use our shoulder or even the elbow, guys. Uh, Ipaibot lang natin ng writing grip uh, na ang palm natin, I mean yung uh, lower right part ng palm on top of your desk. Uh, or table. Uh, yung 5 boot lang natin. Uh, so guys, sa long lines, again, use your elbow off para nakaka-relax ang forearm. Then, sa, sa pag-swing, nakaka-relax sa pag-create ng lines, okay? Again, maintain the grip consistency uh, and uh, line boundary, okay? And for all exercises, either uh, vertical, horizontal, or diagonal, it is always advisable, guys, uh, to place your left hand. Kung right-handed ka, ha? Uh, pero kung uh, left-handed ka, so yung right hand mo ang naka-place dun sa top ng uh, table. Okay? So, para ma magkaroon tayo ng comfort at parang balance ng ating katawan sa while uh, doing all the exercise, uh, yung pag-create ng uh, lines uh, in freehand. Okay? So, go to our next uh, exercise.
So thank you guys. I hope you you've learned some techniques and ideas for our video discussion. Uh, and just continue practice, guys. Uh, okay, so see you till next our exercise and good luck, guys.